if collaborations weren't enough and you didn't get enough about that and um, what else I've got to show you there are these Coach of High Beast Jown teases up and coming New Balance 990 V4 collaboration in Navy now to me I hear it looks black to me but maybe it is Navy but this is definitely one for the heads because if I'm not mistaken this pair already exists in this particular sort of not obviously with the material traces and whatnot because it looks like you might have done some hits of new buck or suede on the eye stays and some of the mud guards here so that they give that kind of nice different texture and color when they've kind of been scuffed a little bit right even though they're all black they kind of end up looking far more interesting once you worn them than a regular pair that you'd get a gr pair but it does need to be said that you can purchase a fairly you know um you know a fairly comparable shoe that already exists in new balances lineup without the you know the uh, addition of the branding obviously from John the Justin Saunders and his little studio if you want to but there definitely is something about supporting people that you think are cool and have great taste where you would maybe you know put to one side your rational sensible mind and say you know what even though I could purchase these shoes as a GR tomorrow on Amazon for $140 I'm good I'd much rather purchase these pairs which are going to be super limited they're going to sell out in seconds for $160 or $80 because I love what Justin Swan is doing I'm a fan of Jam the website itself you know like I'm sure people do that but this is one for this is definitely one of those head scratches you're like hmm but this is also for me represents what I used to love about sneaker collaborations back in the day or sneaker culture in general back in the day it was far more interesting people would take these kind of chances right they wouldn't just go and get have the opportunity to you know be able to make their own color of a shoe and just go crazy and turn it into like a what the dunk version right of whatever shoe it is no they would actually go there and make something you know tasteful something true to who they are something they think that can be timeless right without the need of bells and whistles which is hard i'd imagine especially back in the day when i was collecting shoes and there was a small period where everyone was obsessed with like pony hair and all this sort of nonsense right um it can be tempted to kind of adopt those materials and approaches to the shoe that you make but sometimes i feel like having restraint and holding back and you know be very subtle about how you present um or you do collaborations it definitely goes a long way this is why i'm probably always been and have been um the biggest you know hiroshi fujiwara fanboy that exists where i've got tons of vintage japanese magazines here with a lot of his street style shots and books of his and whatnot right big fan of what he does obviously with fragment design and one of the reasons why is because he's able to kind of take He's kind of maybe the forefather of, you know, Virgil Abloh's approach to design where it's like a 3% change, right? Um, and I think he takes that, obviously, and does it with his collaborations where most of his Nike collaborations look like, not once they look like GRs, but they look like a shoe that Nike could have designed in-house. He doesn't go crazy. He always kind of is very tasteful. You take like a model that doesn't really get a lot of shine and give it a bigger platform, you know, slap his Thunderstrike symbol on the side of it, Bob's granny, you know, whatever and keep it moving you see it happening with the dunks that he's got out in the moment right they're fairly they look fairly crap to my, my opinion i like the colorway but the the quality of the materials on that dunk specifically look terrible i think it's a beijing and it's a number maybe a tokyo one but they just don't look that great and it doesn't matter because obviously <clears throat> They got they got her Roshi Fujiwara to do that collaboration because they wanted him to, you know, pipe up the dunks and maybe, you know, be the reason why a few other people, a few more people who are still on the fence as I am, maybe decide to go and buy the dunks. But they're just not good. They look terrible quality. They look like the kind of dunks you would purchase, unfortunately, in places like JD and Foot Locker because that's where the GRs are sent. And then all the limited edition shoes that you purchase from like a sneaker and stuff will be far better quality. But the quality I saw of those shoes was just not good. But that aside, Hoshi Fujiwara is a real genius at that approach um, in the way he does collaborations, which is why I think most of his shoes, for the most part, with the exception of maybe some of those, what are those ones I had in 1948? They were like a patent um black sort of all court right maybe it's an all court or wimbledon wherever it is with a little mud guard in the front and really uncomfortable to wear and just you know looked a bit gaudy so with the exception of those kind of black pattern joints back in the day his collaborations are great i mean there's a collaboration that still hasn't come out yet that i'm still eagerly anticipating to drop which i think he wore at some panel discussion with like you know that flipping you know melon head jeff staple who you know Let's say about that that dim wit the better but i remember him being on stage at that show and showing off a pair of these air force one mids that were 
you know, they had a Velcro strap on them and they looked incredible, like really, really good. Um, I'm not sure when they'll ever come out, if ever, but they looked really amazing. And that's, again, a great way to sort of uplift a very, you know, classic colorway or a classic model of a shoe in general um, without going too crazy. Just, you know, got an, off, off, an Air Force One mid, uh, you know, a shoe that's very popular with most stickers or people in general. And instead of just having um, it with laces and the strap, obviously, in the midfoot, he just turned it into like a Velcro trainer with, I think, three straps across it um, from the top to the bottom. And it looks banging. And um, we haven't really seen any update from that since then. But again, I think John is basically the, it feels like the heir apparent, which is weird, isn't it? Considering he's like Canadian and his things are a little bit more earthy in terms of how he does it right he's aesthetic he's his codes and he's you know his palettes are a lot more earthy and maybe optimistic than what um Hiroshi Fujiwara does but again I'm a big fan of these new balances no real uh, let's see what the um info says regarding the release date itself it says John's first type producing furnace no, back off is too much there. Uh, based off the one photo of these that were posted on John's IG, we can see that the kicks will adhere to a two tone motif. The breathable mesh underlays, um, along with the battery suede overlays, will work together and appear with identical navy skin white hints and solid black sprinkle on the laces. Interior liners said, um, side end logos, toe box overlay sorry midsoles and american flags affixed on the tongues interesting america oh because they're made in the u.s i'm assuming right because who took over the made in u.s bit in the new balance was it the it was the guy from uh ami leondor right i'm pretty sure so if that's the case then maybe um this collaboration makes a lot of sense and maybe again the you know a fiction of the united states flag on the depend again when you consider the guy's canadian or well, I think the studio itself is based in Canada itself as well. It's a bit interesting, but, you know. It says here, release dates. Release details, sorry, are still unknown. But you can check these to launch sometime during the fall, winter 2021. So sometime soon, you'll see a pair of these jowned New Balance 990 Vs. V4, sorry, if you haven't got your order and you're probably not going to get them. It is what it is. The game is the game. And we keep it moving.